Amazing World of Gumball. Probably the most unique show of the big three from the 2010 era. And you're probably like, what the fuck is a big three? Well, the big three were the most successful cartoons to come out of Cartoon Network in that era. And the three of them was Gumball, Adventure Time, and Regular Show. Those shows all, like, dominated the airwaves. They And they kept going up until I think I was 17 in high school. And we were all sad when they ended, you know. Because the last part of your childhood, is my opinion, is when you turn 10. Then you enter the awkward middle school teen years. Then it's the awkward junior years of high school. And then by the end of it, you're just numb. <laughs> and you kind of feel, you kind of take your life for granted in a way. And then it was sad to see these shows end. And you realize, wow, that went on for that long. That's unbelievable. So yeah, all three of these shows basically shared the same like uh, sense of humor in a way. And I think that's what made it more fun to go through those, uh, those awkward teen years. Because... You suddenly start understanding adult jokes at that point. And Gumball made no exceptions to made no exceptions to some risque humor. That scene still makes me laugh even fucking ten years later. That's how funny I thought that was. My dad too, you know, it's hard to get it's really hard to get my dad to like any modern cartoons besides the ones he grew up with in the fucking seventies. Okay, boomer. Anyway, but he fucking, he liked regular show Gumball. The only one he didn't really follow was Adventure Time, which is understandable. That could be sometimes be too weird. Um, but as you know, this is not a glorification of a cartoon. This is people ruin everything. Weird graphic fan art and even weirder fan fictions exist on the internet. Is it possible to ruin Gumball? And oh my God, it is. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, 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 ah. Give him away. Give him away from me. Keep your grimy fucking hands off of Gumball's mom. What are you doing? Okay. We're going down that route. I always knew there was something fucked up about that teacher. The only relief I could say I got from this is at least I didn't, it left Anais alone. Um, that doesn't make everything else okay, but at least I left her alone. She's only like, I think, canonly in the show, she's about five years old. So, uh, yeah, so glad that I'm not seeing any lewd stuff of that. A few moments later. Ah! Well, that one fucking hurt, and, um... Just to finish the Rule 34 art off with us, uh, Zone made an exception. Yep, we now have an animated video. Great. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Okay. Hi, I'm Nicole Watterson. Uh, you can call me Mrs. Watterson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Okay, let's go. Okay, Nicole, relax. Higher, that's not a flattering angle. <sighs> oh, yeah. After the day I've had, that's just what I need. <gasps> as far as literature goes, after that night of fucking uh, vomit, uh, the only literature I found for Gumball is in the form of a comic book where his little sister seduces him and I don't feel like even showing that or reading it because it sounds like the person narrating Fifty Shades of Grey except it's Gumball. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys sat through it okay. Hope you guys are still mentally sane. And I hope you guys share it and like it and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next subject. Peace.